What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the footage from my first wash and retwist. Let's start off with the products that I used. My probiotic soap shampoo bar, rose water to keep the hair moisturized, castor oil for my scalp, spray bottle, applicator bottle, and clips. So guys, this footage is about a month old. I did retwist at a little over 11 weeks. I am so, 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 so sorry for going that long without providing an update. I am due for my next retwist pretty soon. So be on the lookout for that video as well. I am a low porosity girl, which means that the cuticles on my hair shaft are tightly closed and it takes a while for water to penetrate my hair shaft. And so I am just taking a few minutes to allow the warm water to flow on my hair and try to get as much moisture in as I can before I start the shampoo process. Around May of last year, I started water only washing for my loose natural hair, which is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. I did not use shampoo or conditioner in my hair. Um, I would, on wash days, simply lightly scratch my scalp to loosen up any dirt or excess sebum. And I would work that sebum down the shaft of my hair on each wash day. And that worked extremely well for my hair. My hair was softer than it had ever been. Um, and so I kind of want to keep that minimalistic type of routine with my locks. Um, I am going to use a shampoo bar though. I don't necessarily know how that routine would work on locks just yet so i don't want to have any build up and so i will be using that shampoo bar to kind of further loosen up excess dirt because it was 11 weeks since i last washed my hair that shampoo bar though is pretty natural um, it's packed with a bunch of oils so it's not going to be too stripping or drying for my hair or my scalp. Um, it is a probiotic bar. It's really good for people who suffer from seborrheic dermatitis. Um, it's going to give you those good bacteria and also help balance the pH of your scalp as well. If you're interested in checking out that shampoo bar i will leave a link for it in the description box below i did spend a fair amount of time really making sure that my scalp was thoroughly cleansed um, i'd say a good 15 minutes or so but i'm gonna skip over a lot of that footage for the sake of keeping this video under 20 minutes. So this is where it really gets interesting. I've watched countless videos of people talking about separating your locks, how you should do it. You know, every few days, always separate your locks no matter what. 
Well, I was under the impression that that was only necessary if you were putting water on your hair. Well, I was wrong. You guys will see the end result of me not separating my hair for 11 weeks. If somebody can learn something from this, then I'll, I'll take the L. If I'm able to help someone else. It was at this moment that he knew. I went ahead and did the first row off camera for a couple different reasons. For one, I was feeling a bit discouraged because I had made that mistake of not separating my hair. My hair was matted and I started to feel like I was doing damage to my hair. Um, but, you know, I know that this is a learning process and that's part of the journey, making mistakes. And so always, always, always give yourself grace whenever you are learning to do anything new. You guys will see that I did go ahead and spray my hair down with the rose water and use the castor oil in the applicator bottle on my scalp. My hair was extremely matted. I was very confused. I did not enjoy at all the sound, the dreaded sound of hair ripping apart. Um, that is a sound that as a loose natural, I did everything to avoid. And so to hear that, to have to hear that in order to get my hair separated was so cringy so cringy and so i know now every few days shoot every few minutes <laughs> i am separating my hair making sure that those little hairs are not mysteriously and magically you know meshing together and trying to combine all of my locks into one massive lock Fast forward, I've done the back of my hair. All I have left is this front section. You guys can see the technique that I use. I'm pretty much like a wrap around the finger sort of technique, which really worked pretty well. And so I think that's what I'll be sticking with with my next retwist as well. I am sticking with a minimal product sort of routine, so I am not using any gels or waxes to retwist my hair.
And so here are my results. It's the next morning, my hair is all dried. I absolutely love the look of a fresh retwist to be able to see my scalp again. I just absolutely loved it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it helped somebody. Please take care of yourself and those around you and I'll see you in my next one.